Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and you might notice that we don't have a special YouTube intro today, and that's because, well, we've got a special outro with a special guest, so I'm saving it for the end. But we're also going to talk about leaks in Apex Legends. A lot of the time, it gives us hope for stuff that's coming in the near future. We get a lot of data mines, cool stuff coming up, but sometimes things either get scrapped or, well, it's completely fake. So today, we're going to go over what's actually looking like it's going to come to the game, and what is just complete nonsense that has no chance of ever coming. Now, of course, we're also going to give out 45 bucks. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, but without further Further ado, let's talk about the news. So one of the best things about a live server's game, in my personal opinion, is about what to look forward to next. And a lot of people feel the same way, probably why you're actually on my channel. And with Apex Legends, that is no different, and it has one of the most thriving communities about what's really coming next. It can be anything from upcoming legends, new weaponry that's been found in the game files. Just knowing anything about what to look forward to brings a lot of people happiness. It also helps kind of figure out what you're gonna spend your money on. These aren't really microtransactions with $20 skins and $160 heirlooms for instance we do know that season 17 we're getting ballistic with the brand new legend skins with the armor tuxedo the miami vice one and then his launch bundle on the far left we know that the next prestige skin is going to be for caustic with three different tiers that was thrown up on apex uncovered prowl rindo found in the data mine files that there were special animations coming for ash which indicated that she is the next up for an heirloom which surprised a lot of people because they thought we were going to get horizon or fuse it just helps people plan in the future on what they plan on getting and what to look forward to the future of the game instead of trying something else out. Sometimes though, we never end up seeing this stuff, although it could still always come, such as the fact that there is a Titan battery that was actually shown on a dev stream at one point in a legend rarity, along with the crypto one times H cost. And you put it together with stuff like dev saying that someday there may be Titans in the game as they have been testing it, but haven't figured out how to make it work. There's other stuff like the shield capacitor, which heals a medium amount of shield 60 second cooldown, which in my opinion at this point was supposed to be part of the legend perk class, but then got scrapped. Because if you look at another item very similar to it, the remote banner recovery, which was basically Crippa's ability, well, any support legend can now just craft a banner. Explosive Lobber, found all the way back by like season 11 or 12 for the L-Star, and it's actually popped up in numerous different trailers, including the season 16 one, yet we've never seen it. And there's always really big surprises, like the Seer Kit that Mirage was grabbing. We just know it's a Seer Kit that has a smart pistol, but we've never actually seen it come into the game or in any data mined images. But due to so many fans always looking for this stuff, it can be a little difficult to know what's actually coming and what's not. For instance, there are some YouTube channels that make up things that make no sense whatsoever, such as one channel that decided said there will be no more free heirlooms and upon watching it, they said in a secret meeting, EA and Respawn had decided that if you opened 500 Apex packs, there would no longer be a reward of getting an heirloom. They had moved it to a thousand. I'm just here to say there was no secret meeting and this person is full of crap. Another one that they put up was all old battle passes are returning to Apex Legends. Once again, a bunch of baloney. Respawn has stated multiple times on their website that no old battle pass skins shall ever return. Now that doesn't mean they won't be recolored. We've seen that plenty of times, but anything from season 10 and before can never be resold. In fact, it's right into the terms on their website. But enough people believe this, it gets trending on Twitter, and all of a sudden, everyone thinks that this is actually happening. One of the more recent things is something called a Rumble Solos mode, which everyone seems to think is coming. It's a solo game mode with no abilities, no loadouts, and no rules. And it has a bunch of wacky, crazy features like ricocheting bullets. And I'm not saying it's not coming. I've never heard of it. None of the data miners have ever heard of it. And in fact, no other leak source has ever heard of it. In fact, Respawn themselves have stated they will not add solo mode into Apex Legends. They tried it once in season one. It's never come back. Overall, there are a ton of great resources if you're looking forward to future content. The best resource of all is probably Respawn themselves, but don't believe everything you see you see in official Respawn announcements. Speaking of official Respawn announcements, we do have the ALGS starting on this Saturday with my team Glitch Energy competing in it. We got top place in scrims against some great competitions such as 100 Thieves, TSM, Optic Gaming, The Guard, NRG, and so many others, and I'm very proud of the boys. And overall, we're top five with those same teams right now. And overall scrim points. So we brought on a very special guest and I hope you guys as viewers enjoy this as much as we enjoyed making it. Hey Glitch Energy, it's your favorite astronaut, Johnny Sins here. Just like me, I wanna see you fly to the moon during these pro matches. Speaking of flying, who's better at doing that than your Valk Reeds? He'll help you get to better positions, something I'm very used to. Speaking of things I'm used to, there are big veins coming out there, but there's no bigger vein than your seer. Keep leading your team to victory. Lastly, you need to make sure your catalyst is there to aid in throwing walls because every third party needs some protection. Make Thornton, Psycho, and SWL proud and bring home this W.